Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Tip Live. The Tip is an organization of like-minded individuals brought together to help each other's businesses grow and flourish. And today we have a special treat for you. We are going to be live with uh, Director Robert Longo. Uh, Robert is in our, not there, he's virtual. <laughs> not sitting here today, we're bringing him in virtual. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Director Robert Longo, how are you? I'm wonderful. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us, James. We got a lot of fun stuff we're going to talk about today. Um, you are starting a Indie Go Go campaign, which uh, we have only a few days left, so we want to make sure everyone uh, knows what's going on. So tell us about what's what's this project that you have uh, coming up. So I have my fourth feature film uh, trying to complete. It's my first horror feature film. And uh, we have five days left of our Indiegogo campaign that's going to allow us to finish the movie in time for Halloween of this year. Wow. So that's that's coming up real fast. Yes. Nice. <laughs> time is definitely the enemy for me at this <laughs> point. Yes. Yeah, so you definitely want to check out in the description. We have the link for the Indiegogo. So if you at home would like to help the cause and get this product done by Halloween, we definitely uh, we, we would hope and uh, appreciate all the clicks. Um, so give us a little rundown. What is the what is the project? What's the movie about? What is uh what sure. you got going on? Uh I grew up in Cedar Grove, New Jersey, and mm -hmm. you know, in the 80s. So it's your typical kind of stranger things childhood I had, always on my BMX bike, you know, riding around town, harassing the construction workers, and uh avoiding, you know, some of the scarier elements of the 80s childhood when you're on your own and you know mm -hmm. you're passing over like devil's hole or the insane asylum that was a block away so i planted mm -hmm. a lot of seeds for you know a horror universe that i wanted to make called the grove so based on cedar grove the grove and mm -hmm. all my horror movies are going to take place there this one the husband being the first one that takes place there and the mm -hmm. log line of it is you know all monsters must rise the, he might be a monster, but the monster within her is far greater. Dun, wow. dun, dun. <laughs> awesome. Great stuff. So what, uh, let's go back. Uh, what, what made you get into to video and film? What, uh, how'd you get started? Uh, obviously this is a passion of yours. What, where did it all begin? Yeah. So I, my, my career is like totally backwards. I was in the cellular phone industry for 10 years. Uh, a coworker of mine went on like a weird New Jersey tour. And he went to uh, an abandoned slaughterhouse in Marlboro and he brought back a bunch of pictures. And I'm like, wow, this would make a great horror movie. I'm going to write it. So I wrote the horror movie, a full feature called Slaughterhouse and uh, went as far as like doing table reads and rewrites. And after eight drafts, I had a really great script. But then mm -hmm. I realized that I had no money to shoot it. I had like written way beyond any kind of micro budget I could raise. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I shelved it. And I ended up then doing a live action superhero show on YouTube called Vixens of Virtue, which was a mix of the Brady Bunch meets Buffy the Vampire Slayer with all the sensibilities of the Batman TV show. And we got very little traction on YouTube. This is like early YouTube MySpace mm -hmm. time. But mm -hmm. we decided to do the New York Comic Con. And we went really big at the Comic Con at the New York Comic Con at the Javits Center. We got a booth. Our booth was next to this up and coming show called The Walking Dead, sent <laughs> between this other show from Adult Swim. And I had all the actresses there in their outfits and everything. And people you know, were coming online for Walking Dead, seeing our booth. So we had a lot of traffic. And I ended up getting a distribution deal with my very first project. So it went directed to DVD was available on Amazon Prime for streaming. We did a second DVD, and then I did a documentary recently for, well, not recently, 2014, for Seton Hall for WSOU 89.5 FM Pirate Radio, a uh, heavy metal radio station for 75 years on a Catholic campus. And then I got sort of seduced by doing client video services and joined the tip in 2019 and was thankfully super busy all throughout even the pandemic and everything, thanks to my time at the tip. And then finally, now I have the balance of 
client video services and doing my own narrative projects. So I'm back finally making my fourth film and hopefully awesome. one of many horror movies. Awesome. Have all, all, uh, the other three been horror movies? What are, what are the, no, what are so, the so Vixen's a virtue superhero mm -hmm. movie, like very cheesy, campy, like micro budget, like guys in ninja suits. And when I say micro budget, mm -hmm. Doug, I mean like guys, <laughs> in hard, cardboard robot suits, <laughs> like Batman TV campiness all the way. Cause that's what we yeah. budget wise dictated that we could do and get away with mm -hmm. And People loved it. And, mm -hmm. uh, we made a second one of Vixens, a, a part two, and then we did the documentary. So this awesome. is the first horror. The Husband is going to be my first horror movie. Wow, wow. Without giving away anything, can you give us a little plot of, of The Husband? Yeah, sure. Uh, she's considering divorcing the husband. He really doesn't want it. Uh, he's got, you know, some serious mental issues. And... Uh, instead of going the divorce route, maybe decides to off her. But because it happens in the Grove, which is like this super natural nexus of a town where supernatural things are attracted to and kind of can't even get out of the Grove, mm -hmm. uh, a certain monster from based on one from folklore kind of rises up to protect her. Nice. Who survives? I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> have to see on Halloween. Yes. Awesome. Great stuff. So uh, we talked about, you know, the projects coming up and, and your your passion. How about we uh, talk a little bit about Tip? Um, how long have you been in Tip? Uh, since October 2019. Nice, nice. How do you like it so far? Oh, I love it. I have to say, you know, for a long time doing, you know, video client services, I didn't really promote my business. It was all word of mouth. You know, I had those four or five, you know, wonderful perpetual clients. But then we came to a time where, you know, one of them retired, two of them sold their business. One of them just didn't want to do anything anymore. And then COVID hit. And I was like, what am I going to do? I like literally like lost all my big clients. And a friend of mine, Alex, who mm -hmm. is in the tip of Clifton, has been there for a long time, owns all access uh, body shop in Patterson. Him and mm -hmm. I played in Cedar Grove, Little League ball together and our kids go to the same school now and he's like oh you should come check out this business networking group no pressure or anything and if you like it you know you you can you know put in an application and we'll see where it goes i went i was very impressed the tip of clifton has been around for 14 years and a lot of the same people the founding members are still in it so it's got a very strong base and foundation and I loved it. And, you know, it saved my business's life during the pandemic for sure, because it allowed me to pivot to other different types of clients that I had never even thought of. I ended up doing like video depositions for our injury lawyer for a while. So it, it was a, a, a lifesaver. Awesome. Great stuff. So one question I always ask people on the podcast is what the tip means to them. So what does the tip mean to you? Uh, the tip means like, the tip means a wonderful way with a family to grow your sphere of influence of your business. Cause you know, everybody easily says, Oh, I, I want more sales and I want more clients, but to do that, you have to do different things. And one of those different things is join a business networking group like the tip. Awesome. Great stuff. Do you have any uh, tips or tricks for maybe a newer member who maybe doesn't uh, is not having the, the, as much luck as you right now, or maybe yeah. not really seeing it right now? What, what yeah, are some I would tips? say if you're if you're a new member, be patient for sure. Do your in person one on ones, you know, and believe in the system. The tip's been around since 1978. The format works. It might seem a little strange and even repetitive but it's psychologically that way to imprint your business and get to know you so we can tip and refer you better. So just stick with it and, and don't be shy, you know, press the, the flesh with your members, get to know them, you know, and they'll get to know you and the, the tips will come. Awesome. It's Great definitely stuff. one of those, whatever you put in, you get out of, I feel. hundred percent. Love it. Great stuff. So that's a tip about the tip. Uh, do you have any tips or tricks for our members in your expertise, whether it be video or maybe shooting a video on their, by themselves, anything that you can help, uh, our members listening? Um, I think, you know, 
you know, I would love to shoot every video opportunity that comes around, but you know, too, that with social media content is king and you have to generate a lot of content as any business. And mm -hmm. it might not be financially sound to hire me to do every single one of your social media videos or whatever. And that's fine. I understand the realities of budget again, cardboard robots. Um, <laughs> so I would suggest, you know, just get a decent camera with autofocus, get a decent little wireless, you know, lapel mic and make sure, you know, it sounds great and, and shoot some stuff yourself. And then for the bigger projects, hire us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great. Or stuff. hire undefeated media. <laughs> Anybody, you need to get somebody, you need help because yeah. it is a full-time job. As you know, it is a full-time job. It takes a lot of time and effort. Uh, so we're here to help you take that off your plate so you can focus on the business. Um, so, you know, it's definitely a plus to have, to have someone helping you in, in those needs. Um, we want to remind everyone that we are live. So if you have a question, comment, concern, please put in the comment section and we'll answer it live with you today. Um, Robert, anything else coming up? Anything else you want to touch based on? Not, you know, I, I, I really like delivering the message of like businesses having to, to increase their sphere of influence. You know, I use the metaphor all the time of the bakery. The local bakery sits at the mm -hmm. corner. It's been there for years. It's all word of mouth but they have like a very local range of who they can pull for a possible client base. Mm -hmm. But in order to increase that sphere of influence, you have to do different things like join an organization like the tip, like hire mm -hmm. someone to do your, your social media and your video stuff, you know, or even go so far as to, you know, think outside of the box. I mean, I think this is pretty outside of the box. I mean, who better to hire for your video work than an actual filmmaker who makes real movies. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Shameless blood. Shameless blood. <laughs> Absolutely. And and then let's let you know going back to, to the movie. So it's on Indiegogo. The link is in the description right here. It's gonna be on the screen. Not that you, not that you can click this, but there it is. Uh it's also in the descriptions. Right now we're live on Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So if you uh are watching, you'd like to put a comment in the comment section, you can you can uh chat with us live with you today. Um what so we, we what we have some deadlines so this, this is this is coming up quick uh what are some things that people should know about the indiegogo link so the indiegogo it's crowd funding which means you're essentially prepaying for the movie or the merchandise or both whatever you're interested in and again because i'm very sensitive to everybody's you know financial situation um we offer different perks that you can contribute that help towards the movie for five dollars you can just be a patron of horror which means you're just giving us five dollars as a donation to help us get the movie done and that five dollars makes a difference that's the difference between you know the cu cup of coffee that saves us you know at 2 a.m mm -hmm. editing to the very deadline so mm -hmm. every little bit helps all the way up to you know getting a physical copy of the movie a dpd a movie poster uh we even have like tarot cards from the movie that are in the movie that we offer as a set you know t-shirts all kinds of cool things there's something for everyone and if you can't contribute then please share it because sharing is caring and sharing goes a long way absolutely and and that we have what five more days left we only have five days left yep yes five days left so so don't put this on the back burner do this today uh, while you remember, we all want to support each other. And that's what we're here for as Latip is, uh, you know, like-minded individuals coming together to help each other, uh, businesses grow and flourish and passions, whether it's, uh, videos or movies, independent things that we're making. That's, that's the whole point of, uh, coming together with Latip. Um, and there are pretty cool things on the way for Latip. We're going to be able to give each other tips per through the different chapters. So yeah, this yeah. time next year, you know, hopefully this movie is successful. I make another movie and, you know, I, I can be back and people can actually tip me at the, the tip of Clifton for the perks from the, in, the next Indiegogo. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get there you with can, your help. Thank you. Yeah, you can technically, you could technically start doing that, doing that now on the tip wired. So definitely, you know, it is a tip. You are providing them with, uh, you know, entertainment. Yeah, <laughs> so definitely. It, 
It counts. It counts. It counts in my book. Hopefully, Summer agrees. Yes, she does. She does. <laughs> Hopefully, Summer's watching. She agrees. Um, as always, well we are live. So if you have a question, comment, or concern, please put in the comment section. We'll answer it live with you today. Uh, Robert, anything else coming up? Anything else you want to talk about? No, oh, that's it. That's really my whole my whole world right now. It's nice. it's between you know Latif and uh, and and getting this movie done. Yes, both are very time consuming uh, uh, things. So I think it's a good time to do the the speed round. We can find out what Robert likes to do outside of work and play. Uh, Pat, you ready for the speed round? Yeah. All right, Robert, are you ready for the speed round? I, I think I'm ready. All right. So it's first thing that comes to mind. These are very you know these aren't you know rocket science. Uh, so, uh, ready, Pat? Here we go. All right. Favorite color? Purple. Okay. Uh, favorite food? Lasagna. Favorite dessert? Tiramisu. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Favorite movie? The Empire Strikes Back. Nice, nice. Favorite show? Mm, I don't, I don't watch many shows. I, I don't know. Okay. More movie guy could be streaming. Anything? Nothing. Nothing. Not a movie. Not a TV guy. All right. All right. Uh, favorite sport? Uh, football. Go right. Pittsburgh favorite. Steelers. The football favorite football teams, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Absolutely. My son's right. named after Ben Roethlisberger. Even. So. Wow! Look at that. Nice. Uh, favorite thing to do that has nothing to do with work. Motorcycle like riding. Hobby. Nice, nice. I got one too. It's definitely yeah. when you have a long day. I got a a, a Yamaha V Star. Nice. I have a Ducati nice. Monster. Nice, nice, nice. I, I'll tell you off off air how I got that. It's a, it's great. You you go on that for an hour and your whole day your whole day is a lot better. Yeah, no. I I always say motorcycles are amazing. You know the difference is in the verb. You know you you drive a car, you ride a motorcycle. Because True. all your inputs of your on the motorcycle affect the motorcycle. You know where you look is where the motorcycle goes. It's it's a much closer man and machine link than yes. driving a car. So it can be very zen like and react relaxing. Absolutely. I used to sell motorcycles, so there was my nice. there's my motorcycle okay. spiel. Where did you sell motorcycles? The uh, motorcycle know? mall in Belleville. Nice. nice. I went there to look for my for mine, and I wound up going to the cycle exchange, I believe it was called. But that's a whole other story. We're getting off track here. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, you're good. You're good. I love I love talking about that stuff. Um, what'd you do last weekend? I, think uh, so. I worked on the movie. <laughs> <laughs> we shot a few some B roll and uh, just mm -hmm. just working on the behind the scenes videos to, to promote it. Nice. Are you a summer guy or a winter guy? I'm a spring guy. All right. All right. Give me that like nice 77, yeah. 76 weather, and I'm super happy. Nice. Nice. Good stuff. Uh, I think you completed the speed round. Excellent. You made it through. <laughs> Last chance for anybody. Questions, comments, concerns, please put them in the comment section. Uh, we don't have any questions, but we got a lot of people giving thumbs up. Uh, so thank you guys for tuning in and hanging out with me and Robert. Uh and definitely check out in the uh, description the Indiegogo link. Like I said, it's on the screen for you right now, but it's better to click it on the descriptions of Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Um, anything else, Robert? Any questions, comments, concerns from you? No, ah, thanks. Thanks for the opportunity and getting me on. You know, with these last five days, I truly appreciate it. Any support is super welcome and very much appreciated. Awesome. And that's what we do here. Let's tip. We help each other grow, flourish and follow their dreams and follow their passions. So we're hoping you all at home can, uh, can help director Robert Longo on his journey. Um, and everyone's loving it as well as D is loving it as well. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Let's tip live. Thanks.